it's Mrs. AC and my daughter, Rowan, and we're gonna show you an art activity that you can do at home, hopefully with some things that you already have. Um, and I'm gonna go through the list of what we need first and show you kind of some ideas of what you can gather before you move on to the rest of this video. So handy dandy shaving cream, and what you want is the foam type of shaving cream, not the gel, so foam shaving cream. You need some pre-cut papers, Smaller is better, think postcard size or a little bit bigger. We have just uh, four by four or five by five squares. Um, for an item that you probably already have at home, um, food coloring. So food coloring mixed with a little bit of water, so it kind of makes a watercolor type um, paintable um, application. Or if you have um, either craft paint or temper paint at home, this works great. And it is a little bit more permanent than the food coloring, so be careful if you're doing this with younger kiddos. And then we have a large sheet of paper, but you could use any scrap cardboard or newspaper or maybe even a couple magazines laid out flat to lay your artwork on to dry. And then you need a couple um, pointed objects that we're gonna drag through the shaving cream. So paintbrush ends work great, or an old pencil, uh, chopsticks, or uh, skewers that you would use on the grill. And then for the watercolor or food coloring, you need just a regular old paintbrush. And then you need some kind of container to put your shaving cream and paint in. So something um, that is easily washed out, um, that the acrylic paint will peel off of if it dries on it. So. Um, a glass pie dish works great, or an aluminum pan, or a cookie sheet, okay? All right, our first step is going to be to pick up our shaving cream. So we only wanna spray shaving cream in a nice layer all the way across your Oh, <laughs> need some help? <laughs> there we go, we just had to get the right angle. So you're gonna fill that up, it doesn't have to be Crazy full, let me get that little boogery guy, okay? So we filled it with shaving cream. Then you're gonna take your paintbrush and you're gonna pick one of your colors and I think I'm gonna hold this over top and we're gonna just drop the color onto the top of the shaving cream. More. Like that. Okay, so you kind of scoop the brush out. If you have like a little eyedropper, an eyedropper works really well for this. We don't have eyedroppers sitting around at our house. So we're using a paintbrush to just drop the water. If you're not using much more of this, then you could always just drop it on there. But, or pour it, I guess. All right, I'm gonna put another color on. Okay, now we're using blue. Ooh, that one's intense. We're just dropping it just anywhere. I'm gonna spread it out because then we're going to take our paintbrush after we do our next color and we're going to run our paintbrush through it. All right, let's put some purple on it. There we go. Okay, so then we'll lay our paintbrush down. Oh. And then we're gonna take the end of a brush and we're gonna just swirl it. Kind of give a little mixy poo to our color. Go this way. Go this way. There you go. So if you mix too much, you're gonna get mud. So colors that work well together are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel or that share something in common. So blue and green and purple all have blue in them. So they would all mix fairly well together. Okay, so we don't wanna over mix. So we're gonna put our paintbrush down and then we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna lay it flat on top of our shaving cream we're gonna kind of press it. We don't wanna like squish, but we're gonna press. And get paint on us. <laughs> Please make sure you're wearing an apron if you decide to wipe on yourself. 
<laughs> okay, so the next step is <laughs> to pull our paper off the shaving cream, okay? So we probably could have pushed a little bit, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna modify here so I can fill in some of these little gaps. So just make sure you press pretty evenly so we can fix that, okay? So then I'm gonna lay this down on my paper towel and I'm gonna take my cardboard and I'm going to basically scrape all the shaving cream off. We're left with the super awesome cool marble paper. Okay, so we are on trial two. We're gonna do this one with acrylic paint. So I have my shaving cream in my pie plate. I have drizzled some yellow paint on my shaving cream. I'm gonna go in with some kind of orangey coral color on top of that. And I pre-shook these so they're nice and fluid. And we're just gonna either drizzle or drop that paint around. You don't need a whole lot. And I'm gonna go in with some kind of a red violet. And I'm gonna go this way. And I want more dark in it, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of the purple. Okay, same technique. You're gonna take this through the shaving cream and go sideways and kind of just swirl it around. Make it look cool. But don't over mix. Put a little bit over here. Always have something to set your wet brushes or your shaving cream brushes and cardboard on. Okay, so my square goes down on top of my shaving cream. And I'm gonna do a little um, technique with my fingers so I don't wanna flatten it like that. But I also wanna make sure you get all the corners and push it into that paint. Okay, remember that acrylic paint is permanent so we don't wanna get it on our clothes. But we'll wash off our hands and stuff though. Okay, so that's our first, first go. So I'm gonna set that on my paper towel. Can you see that okay? And then we're gonna scrape this one. And then I'm gonna take my extra shaving cream and I'm gonna go on the side here so that I don't have to have that on for the next round. So I can keep doing more of these until the color kind of gets mushy. But if I want to change my colors up, then I can take my shaving cream and I can put another layer on top. I can do another set of colors and I can run another set of papers on top of that. So I'm going to keep going, but thanks for watching.